Icefall by Mr. Mandolino is a run and gun shooter for Pico 8. It's really cool. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to you lovely people. Today's game is called Icefall and it's by the developer called Mr. Mandolino. Now normally I would be playing this and loading this game I should say through Splore on Pico 8 but today I'm actually loading the cart because you can only play this game at the moment as far as I'm aware on itch. But you can download the Pico 8 cartridge off itch so that's what I'm doing but you can just play it on itch. It's that bit of the video where I talk about the title screen. That's the title screen. Okay, so this is a run and gun game. We are a kind of ice person. We have like an ice machine gun. We look a little bit like an astronaut or something. I don't know. I really like the character though. It's really cool. Very nicely animated. I love the little head bob when you run. Very cute. Very Pico 8. Um, as you can see, we've got nice platformer movement. A nice little jump. Really, really nice feel to the game. Um, something that might be missing, or something which is missing which you might miss, is um, Coyote Time. Um, lots of Pico 8 games, lots of platformers now have Coyote Time, where if you run off a cliff, you can kind of hit jump just after you've run off the cliff and still jump, even though you're in midair. Called Coyote Time after Wily Coyote. Do you remember the bit in the cartoon where he would kind of stand in midair before he realises he should fall? Yeah. Anyway, Coyote Time is in loads of platformers now, and it gives every platformer that kind of modern feel. This game isn't doing that. It's fine. You might just think, oh, actually, I don't know. Maybe you like Coyote Time. I'm not fussed. I think it's fine. The game handles really nicely, though. Um, there's an interesting um, little element as well. Giving it a kind of old school feel, we have got quite significant knockback, as you can see. Um, you don't have any um, air control or anything when you're in knockback as well. Kind of reminds me of the um, rather punishing um, <laughs> knockback in the Castlevania games. The classic Castlevania games, that is. Um, this is a run and gun shooter. So we've done lots of running, we've done lots of jumping, but it's the gunning that we are interested in. So we've got this kind of um, ice, icicle machine gun, which is very cool to use. Um, and a nice little thing that the machine gun does, let me just um, get up here. If you change the shooting direction, it doesn't just immediately kind of change direction so that you can only kind of fire in like maybe four or eight directions. Look, it kind of arcs. And that kind of reminds me of the, um, the machine gun in Metal Slug. And that's a very nice machine gun to be reminded of. Everyone loves Metal Slug. Um, it gives the game, it gives the shooting a really nice feel. Um, Gives it a different feel, to be honest, to other kind of run and gun games. If you think of kind of games like, um, well, Metal Slug, um, I've said it's similar to that though. Games like Contra, that sort of thing. Um, they don't often have this kind of arcing shooting motion. It feels really nice. It's a lot of fun. Um, as you can see, we are fighting these red, fiery enemies. We've got our ice gun that can freeze them. Uh, Mario style, we can um, push the ice blocks. That will become useful later on. Um, and yeah, like I say, it's a very cool game, this. As you can see there, when you freeze an enemy, um, it blocks um, the movement of the other enemies. So that's kind of handy, kind of useful. Now down here, we've got a whole bunch of enemies. So we need to, um, oops, not do that. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, I believe we can... If we just get one enemy, we can just push the ice block into the other ones. Like so. Really nice. Um, the graphics in this game are really cool. I like the kind of sparing use of kind of background tiles. You can see the kind of blue tiles there. Give it a really good, nice, kind of retro 8-bit feel. Lots of kind of 8-bit platformers like kind of, you know, original Metroid had that kind of style of background. It looks really cool. Um, there's that word again and um, yeah I just really like it the um, the the map tiles just look really nice it's a really nice looking game this um, it caught my attention over on the bird site when I saw it posted and I thought straight away that looks like the sort of game I want to play on Pico 8 um, and yeah it turns out it is um, 
Oh, these flying enemies can be a bit of a nuisance. Now, ooh, we've got kind of got it stuck on the wall there. <laughs> cool. Down there at the bottom, you see was one of the larger enemies. Now these present a bit more of an interesting challenge, which I'll hopefully be able to show you. Um, we can only damage them by pushing the ice blocks into them. Um, later on, there's another rather challenging enemy that we'll have to fight, which works the same way. So. We need to use a little bit of patience, a little bit of tactics to get past those guys. Um, we have a computer there, which you can see is controlling this um, this door, which is blocking our progress. Um, so most of the level, because um, there's just one big level in this game, many Pico 8 games are kind of like that. Um, we've just got one big level, most of that is spent getting to the um, the computer. Once we've got to the computer, it's, um, it's a fairly kind of short little trip to the... Um, the end of the level and um, hopefully I'll be able to get to that and show you it because um, the end of this game is really cool very cool boss at the end I like a good boss in one of these games always always a lot of fun we don't actually have to fight that guy do we but oh, I've started let's do it oh cool the um yeah the combat is really fun like I say the, the the feel of the game is really nice it's um it's such a nice Nice feeling game. Now, there's another little trick that we need to learn. Um, if an enemy is launched from the, the big the big guys and it lands on the ice block, it will bounce. And um, that helps us get enemies to kind of other platforms, which we can then try to get off the, this without killing it. There we go. Which lets us gain access to higher areas. So there are some kind of light, kind of puzzle platform elements in this game, which give it a really nice... Nice spin on the kind of run and gun formula. Because normally in these kind of games, there's not much thinking required. It's all about reflexes and um, shooting and running and gunning. Um, but yeah, I like I like the end uh, little kind of puzzle elements that we've got in there. Um, yeah, you can see we've got the same idea going on there actually. So if I um, freeze this guy, I'll be able to jump up like so. I'm making a lot of progress. This is good. Hmm. Can't remember how I did this bit. I think I just need to jump over, don't I, I think? Can I do it without... Yes, I can. Oh! Oh! Those flying ones. Right, let's just run away from that. I don't... Oh, my God. Oh, there's so many enemies and I'm nearly dead. Ah! Uh. Okay, cool. Anyway, there's the computer. We've blown that up, so our path is cleared um, for us to advance. Oh, we've got the final enemies. These um, kind of red bag things. If we set them off, like so, we get attacked by those little red enemies, which are quite hard to hit. So I think we can kind of mostly avoid them if we just um, <laughs> don't go near them. I'm not doing a very good job of that. Oh. Looking, this is, looks kind of like a hive now, doesn't it? Oh, they're a lot harder to hit then than they look. I really don't want to set those ones off at the top. Let's just leave those where they are. So, if you want to play this game, you can play it on uh, on itch. Um, you can play it natively on itch in the the web player, the web. Yeah, the web player. Or you can, um, if you look down in the comments, Mr. Mandolino posted the cart as well. So you can download that and play it in your actual Pico 8 um, console like I'm doing. It's boss time, everyone. That's right, Mercedes Martinez is here. No, this is the end boss, and it kind of makes us put together all the things we've learned throughout the game. We need to um, freeze, freeze enemies, hit the boss, and not die. I really hope I can not die. We get three hits and ah, uh, that little globe opens at the top there. That's where we can actually hit the boss. And rather fortunately, rather forgivingly I might say, the um, the boss gives us some um, some health back, which um, I appreciate because I need all the help I can get. We um, oh, there's those little red guys. They keep harassing us, which is kind of rude of them. Oh, I do love the shooting in this game. Oh, no, I died. Ah, a little problem there. Um, when you die, there should be like a pause, like an input pause before you come back. 
I said I didn't get to read that because I was pressing fire. Anyway, I think we need to... Oh, we don't need to restart. Brilliant. The, um, the game doesn't reset that. Very forgiving. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah, this, um, this end boss is really cool. It's a nice kind of... There's a nice pattern to it. It's... Um, I like the the fact we've got the kind of the weak point we have to hit. We have to kind of freeze the enemies. Really cool boss. And like I say, the shooting is so satisfying. So much fun to play this. Um, can I complete it? Can I um, defeat this guy? Is he gonna fire? He's not. Oh, there we go. There's no point killing the um those guys when they're over there. So I need to I need to land like that, don't I? I'm not sure if I did enough damage then. I think the um that kind of globe tail thing closes after a certain amount of time. So if you don't do enough damage to it, we're gonna have to do another like another boss, another cycle of the boss. Hopefully I'll be okay. The um, sprite work in this game is really nice. It's got such a lovely Pico 8 look. Is this going to be it? Oh. Hey, there we go. Thought that was going to be it. One more go, I think. Look, you can fire down as well. That is, the shooting in this is so satisfying. A winner is me. And a winner is you if you play this game. Oh, I love being cheesy. Uh, so this is Ice Fall by Mr. Mandolino. Go and check it out. It's just a short little run and gun shooter for Peak Away. Lots of fun. Really satisfying shooting. Not too difficult. Um, this is my second playthrough. And as you can see, I got through that. Um, I only died once, which isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, really fun little game. Go and check out um, Mr. Mandolino's itch page. He's got some very other interest. Some very other. He's got some other very interesting projects. Interesting. Very. Some other very. Came out the right way eventually. I'm sure I can fix that in, in, in post. Thank you very much for watching. Just a short little video today. I wanted to highlight this game. Um, go and check out Mr. Mandolino. Play his game. Tell him what a nice game he's made. And if we ask nicely, he might put it onto Splore for us to play. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon.